Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. My name is Quad, and today we're going to be checking out a mod for my garage, and it's the Pre-Runner mod, a mod that turns your B200 pickup truck into a Pre-Runner slash trophy truck. So I have these two trucks here. There's a couple things to note that this mod only works on the B200. It does not work on the B200S or the B200L, the long boy. So it only works on the B200, and there are two different variants of this mod. The first one is going to convert your regular pickup truck into a rally by adding these fenders to it. And the other one, you have to remove your bed and add in this cage. And we're going to do that over there on that purple truck. Uh, but there's actually kind of a third variant of this mod as well. And that is if you combined both of them. So if we grab this, for instance, and slap it on... It actually fits. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tighten it down just with one bolt. There are three bolts to tighten down. Uh, one on this side, two on the other side. This one here doesn't have a bolt. But as you can see, if we re would remove the tailgate, it would probably look pretty cool. But it still looks kind of cool with the tailgate as well. All right, but let's go ahead and pop this thing back off. And there's a couple other things to note about this mod. The first is it only works with the B200. Here's the L. It doesn't fit. And here is the S. It does not fit. Now, only the back parts of this mod don't fit on these trucks. Uh, you can still put on the front fenders and the engine thing, but the bumpers will not fit on these trucks either. So it only works with the regular old B200. Sometimes you can actually get it to work with the uh, B200L over here, the long boy, uh, but what ends up happening is sometimes it'll clip on, but it'll look like that. The tires don't line up right, and this ends up clipping through the tires. Uh, so yeah, anyway, it doesn't quite work. And I do want to show here is a B200, but it's got a single cab. It does fit, and you can bolt it down and everything. It just looks silly, right? It doesn't quite fit. So it's only... B200 extended cab or super cab, whatever you want to call that thing. Other things to note is this is what it looks like if you leave the trim on. It looks kind of strange. Um, I think it does look better when you completely just remove the trim altogether. As well as this engine, it does come with an engine cage. Uh, you can take off the hood, but I don't think it really looks quite right, as we can see here. Yeah, you could barely see the engine cage anyway, uh, so it doesn't quite look right. And maybe if this radiator brace was a little bit shorter, maybe. Uh, but yeah, anyway, anyway. A couple other things to note about this mod is going to be the prices. So all the fenders are $1,150. Both bumpers, front and back, they're $1,725 each. Now this is where it gets a little bit hairy. Uh, these cost $1,725 thousand dollars so i think there's a typo i think it's an extra zero at the end and this here also costs seventeen thousand dollars not seventeen hundred seventeen thousand and each one of these fenders costs eight thousand fifty now the way this works is uh you would typically just come over slap it on to the back of the truck bolt it down and then you can come over and clip your fenders on like so the way these fenders attach is with a pry tool uh, and that's it they don't bolt on or anything like that once they're on uh, you just have to use a pry tool to get them back off again uh, same goes once it's on over here right yes yes now these ones however these ones also clip on but you have to remove your outer fender wall. We're going to do all that at the end on this purple one, but there's still a couple things to note about this mod, especially if you want to get this rear end here. Let's go over to the catalog, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So once you're at the catalog, you're probably thinking, okay, well, let's filter it by B200, right? And then let's just type in pre for pre-runner. Now, it's going to show you almost all of the pre-runner parts here, but it is one part missing from here that's really crucial and it's the rear cage 
These pre-runner cage fenders are the fenders that go over that rear cage. There's a engine cage here. So what you have to do is you have to switch this to all cars, type in pre, and now the rear cage will show up right here. Okay, so just remember, you have to have it on all cars. Uh, and then you could you could just hit body and scroll down, but it's just a lot easier if you type in pre for pre-runner. And then it pops up right here. And then there it is, you can see. And as you saw, uh, it does cost $17,250. I do think that is a typo. I think it's supposed to cost as much as these bumpers. Uh, so just cheat with your money if you need to uh, fix that. And you get quite a bit back from the trash bin. $750 if you throw it away and probably more down there. But anyway, that's pretty much it for the overall of the mod. So if you want to stick around, I'll show you exactly how to go ahead and switch everything. So first thing that we're going to need is to get our wrench. Let's just start with the front right off the bat. We're going to go ahead and throw this engine bar in. And all these parts are paintable. Now let's go ahead and get this tight. Get the one behind the engine. And then the one over here. So three of them total. Let's go ahead and pop off this bumper as we do need to put on the pre-runner bumper. So that comes off. Then we just grab this and it's just like any other bumper. It does just clip right in and there's going to be four bolts right on the front. Now it is worth noting these bumpers do not fit on to B200S or the B200L. And I'll show that with this, uh, with this rear bumper. We come over here. There's no rear bumper on these. Um, it does not give you the check mark. And the reason being is these bumpers, as well as the rear cage, it is coded to the B200. It's not coded to the B200S or the L. And what I mean is it's coded to the frame itself. Uh, so that's why it does not work on these here. So anyway, let's go ahead and throw this onto the rear bumper over here. We first have to remove this one. There we go. And then we're going to slap this one on. There we go. Now let's go ahead and do the front fenders. Um, it just goes on like a regular fender. You're just going to go ahead and unscrew these ones. And then replace them with those other ones. And we'll just grab this and we're going to just slap it right on here like so. Tight, tight, and tight. But if you do have a B200 long boy and it's a tow truck or something, it will fit on the long just this front piece will. As we can see, this will fit onto the short boy as well. Like I said, just the front fenders. Let's go ahead and put this on to this truck, however. There we go. Now let's go ahead and throw these fenders onto the back of this truck. So the way that you do that is pretty simple. Um, you're just going to have to hit three beads on each side. The one on the back and these two top ones. So the one on the back and then these two top ones. Just like that. Once they fall down, you just bring over the fender and it just clips on. You do not have to weld this thing on. Um, it just clips on. Uh, let's go ahead and put the other one on for now. And there we go. There we go. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And same goes for this thing. Um, you know, it can clip in so you could have like kind of like a two-tone thing going on. But you can see it doesn't quite fit right. Uh, it does, but it doesn't. And it's just as simple as pulling off the bed to get that on if you wanted to swap it. So that's pretty much it. But I do have one more thing to show before the end of the video here, and that's the cost of everything. So if you wanted to build, say, this one here without this engine cage, um, it'll cost you about $8,050. That's for the four fenders and the two bumpers. Now, if you wanted to put just the engine cage in there, and have these bumpers on, it's going to cost you 25 grand. Now, if you wanted to build this one and go balls to the wall with everything, it's going to cost you $56,000. And then if you could bring that price down a little bit, 
considering that you never really see the engine cage. And if you only wanted to see this back side, but not the engine, it brings it down a little bit to 42,000. But yes, uh, the best bet would be to install a money cheat and uh, purchase these rear cage for 17,000 and just give yourself back the difference, right? Because uh, I don't think it's supposed to cost that much. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but that seems fairly steep and it does not increase the value whatsoever, by the way. All right, well, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, let me know down below. If you'd like to see any other mods showcased, let me know down below. Later on, everybody. Later, later on.